CI Kitchen is brought to you by Harvest Market. Okay, tomatoes are coming in hot right now in vegetable gardens. And here with a fresh idea on how to use all of those tomatoes is our guest chef, Anita Dukeman. Okay, I see tomatoes, but then I see a whole lot of other things here. So, what are we talking about? Well, you know the usual tomato salad with the cucumber and the red yes. onion. I love that. So this is kind of a new spin. Ooh. Make it a little bit healthier and a little bit more interesting. Now, I, I kind of teased earlier at the beginning of the hour that there was a secret ingredient. There and there is. is kind of a little twist here in today's yeah. dish because um, it's not something probably a lot of people are familiar with or use very often. Right, right. So this salad is called Vietnamese tomato salad. What makes it Vietnamese is the fish sauce. I right. say that a lot. Right? Yeah, over Vietnamese over. fish sauce. Yeah, is a mouthful. <laughs> yes, it is. Um, so, what is fish sauce? Okay, so fish sauce is fermented anchovies and with salt, basically. Grace loves anchovies because she always uses it in some kind of like Greek goddess okay. dressing or something well, like that. That's interesting because that's where fish sauce begins, either Greece or Italy, like fourth century, oh, and wow. it traveled from that area via the Silk Road the trade route to Asia, and then the Asians started using it. So are these two different varieties of fish sauce that we've got yeah. here? Well, it's quality and taste. Oh. Okay, so the one on your left, as you said you might have that in your cabinet, yeah. is probably the highest quality that you can find around here anyway. And you can see that number... 40? And 40, yes. What does that mean? That means good quality. If it's less than 30, put it back on the shelf. What does the 40 mean, though? What does it have 40 of? It's nitrogen or something, oh. and it's like, it, it's the protein. So Interesting. It, this is actually really healthy for you, believe it or not, except for the high sodium count. There's protein in it. There are nutrients. It's fish. So you've got omega-3 for your heart. Um, it's actually pretty good for you. Interesting. That was going to be my next question. What are the health benefits? But you kind of just nailed yeah. that on How the head there. Yes, but it's got a very distinctive, strong odor that some people might be a little bit turned <laughs> off by. But it's sort of like those stinky cheeses that once you add it, it's like, wow, it's so delicious. Oh, so good. Right. It's that umami, and that's what it adds to our All food. right. It's looking like soy sauce, though, in that little dish. So are they kind they of similar? They can be. So, you know, like I said, when that... When that came to Asia, when soy sauce came along, the Chinese and the Japanese thought that that soy sauce was more compatible um, with their food. So they yes. veered off to that, where the Vietnamese still like their fish sauce, and 95% of the households there still use fish sauce okay. daily. <laughs> well, and we're going to be using it in today's salad. We're making a Vietnamese tomato salad. We are. So obviously we have to have tomatoes. We do. And um, what else goes into our salad? Well, what's going in our salad? First, let's make the dressing. Okay. So and we need to have our fish right. sauce. So you want me to pour it in here? Pour it in there. We're just going to stir it up. Right. Or if you have a jar, you can put it in a jar and shake it up. Give your it a little choice. shake, and shake, And then shake. I have fresh lime juice. About how many limes would you say? Mm, two to three, depending on the size. So okay. I think it's about a quarter of a cup. This looks like a lot of sugar yeah, for our is. dressing. You know, it kind of needs it with that. Does there sauce. go our health benefits yeah. of our tomato well, salad? Really, you know, you're still getting some. And <laughs> okay. you know, you're, you're welcome to not use as much. To each their own, right, yes. To each their own. So we're right. going to stir that up. The little stir, stir, stir. And then I'll, I can just start making this. I'm adding fennel. So fennel has some vitamin C, and it's got a licorice-y taste. Um, I'm going to add some cucumber because it's Why in not? the garden and okay. it's delicious. Well, okay, you got some peanuts, some cilantro, some onions. Our a herbs, salt, a you know pepper. how I'm always pushing the herbs, of right? Of course. And then our onion, pepper, and our... Okay, peanuts. we're going to keep mixing it up. We'll have the big reveal. We'll add our, in our dressing. In the meantime, you can find Anita's recipe. It will be at CILiving.tv, but if you want to see it faster, you can go to anitastabletalk.com where she shares all of her fun recipes. Give her a like on Facebook. You never know what's popping up over there. And um, we'll have the big reveal still to come.